Let's start by searching for the GitHub account. The alias is Black Imagination. Go to Repositories. In this video, I'll be covering the download of a .NET website. Download the zip and extract it. I will be using git clone. Choose a directory you want to clone into. Before installing the libraries, let's create a virtual environment. I will be using PyENV to create the environment. You can find the installation guide in README under Linux installation section. Open up a new terminal. And in this terminal, paste the build dependencies command. Once the installation is complete, you need to install PyENV. Following this step, you need to update the bash RC file. Once this process is complete, your bash RC file should look something like this. At the bottom of the file, you will find the updated by env entries. Once complete, we can move on to the next step. Press Ctrl X to close the file. Now that we have installed by env, let's set the local Python version for this directory to be 3.10 and create a virtual environment. First, you need to install the version. I've already installed it, so I will set it locally. You can check the Python version using this command. I'm creating the virtual environment. Let's activate it. After activating the environment, install all the libraries. Once the installation is complete, you can add your entries to constants.txt file. I've already entered two entries. Let's download it. I will update you once the download is complete. The downloads have completed. Let's see the entries. This is the second entry. This is the first entry. You can find the PDF and each individual image at the highest quality possible. I have created a new user. Let's start by downloading Python 3.10. Click on the link with the domain .org. You 
you need to download Windows Installer 64 bit. Add Python to 3.10 path. While Python is installing, let's install Git. Open terminal as an admin. Let's check Git version to confirm the download. Let's confirm the Python installation. As you can see, Python has been successfully downloaded. Now open up the folder you want to install the downloader in. I'll be downloading it in documents. Open up the directory in your terminal. And here you will do a git clone. But first we need to open up the GitHub account. The alias is Black Imagination. Go to repositories. And here click on the downloader. In under the code section you will find the GitHub link. Copy it and open up your terminal. Now do a git clone. You can check whether the files have been downloaded. As you can see all the files are present in the folder. Let's open this folder in terminal. Now we need to create a virtual environment and install the dependencies. It's creating the virtual environment. Let's activate it. Make sure the S of scripts is capital. Now we need to add the entries in constants.txt file. Open the folder and open constants file. Add your entries. Save them. Let's install the dependencies. This will take a while. Once the installation is complete, go ahead and add your entries to constants.txt file. I've already saved two entries. Let's download them. I'll update you once the download is complete. It will give you a summary once the download is complete. Let's open the files. You can find a combined PDF at the end of each folder and each individual image at the highest quality available. In the future, if you want to download new entries, you need to update the constants.txt file first, remove the downloaded entries and save the new entries. 
Now you need to open the terminal. Run it as admin. Open the folder in which you have the downloads. Now you need to activate the Python environment. Remember, the S is capital. Now you can simply run the script to download the files. That's all for this video.